So what are we looking for? Let's open this. It's like molten rock. It's like molten rock. Hey guys, I'm welcome to Easy Go. As you can see, I got to start it from Mount Chemistry. And I'm very excited because I've been waiting for this Star Kit for a very long time and it came last week. And here's the Star Kit, the Science Kit, and the headset. VR headset, I mean. So what are we looking for? Let's open this. Here are the instructions with things that you can search up in here. Here's a tray for if you want to like hold something on. There are safety goggles if you to protect your eyes from chemicals. And there's one pair for your for yourself and another for an adult that's working with you. Here is a phone stand. It opens like this. And you put the phone like this. See? Here's a flask. It's about this big. And here's a funnel thing. Here's another funnel thing, but it's small. Here are rubber stoppers. This one has two holes. Can you see it? And then you put it down like this. Whoops. Run away, rubber stopper. And then you put the rubber stopper in like this. There's another stopper with one hole. Do you see that hole? And you put it in the same way as a two hole stopper. And there's one without any holes, and you can put it just the same way as the other two. Here is a stuff that you can use things that you can use to heat things. Opens up like this. things and you put this to hold the thing that you're heating up here are many here are like plastic cups here is a clear beaker Here's a plastic beaker. Here is a wooden tray to like put your hot thing on. And finally, here's a macro lens that you can use to zoom in on things or chemicals. This is this is how it opens. And you put in on the rear end of a phone so once you put this on your phone on the rear end of your phone you can look into the camera and zoom in on things you just put it like like this to click on your camera area and then you see through it if you put it in the correct area that is Next. Oh, that was all of them. So this is the VR headset from Mel Chemistry. Now, I'll show you. Ah, got it out. What's in here? Oh, here's a rubber band to like put it around your head. And I'll show how to use this Mel Science headset in future videos oh, that and here is the chemistry 
of Monsters from Mel Chemistry. Here's the box. And you open it. From here. Okay. Here are two chemis like chemistries you can do. First one is foam eruption. And the second one is, second one is the sugar snake. So there's a lots of chemicals. That's a lot of chemicals. This here is a syringe. Oh, here is liquid soap. Two packets of liquid soap in here. And it looks like this is aluminum foil. Here's a double-headed spoon. Wait, what's it say this box? Gloves, looks like it's gloves. Two pairs of gloves, one big, one small. Here's solid fuel. And quite a lot of wooden, four wooden sticks. And instructions for the chemistry of monsters. I'm, so, I'm going to show you guys a little chemistry. And I've chosen to do the sugar snake. So as you can see, I'm doing the experiment on patio and well, you can't do any fire experiments inside your house, and that's why you hear birds waiting out there. So here we have a stuff, uh, sodium hydrogen carbonate in science works, and also known as baking soda in regular. Here is salt fuel, uh, instructions for a snake, a sugar snake, aluminum foil, Double head spoon, gloves, and also as you can see on my head, safety goggles. So now I'm going to put one of these foil pieces into the stove like that. Next I'm going to put one of the foil pieces half. So now, when, so you fold this well, aluminum foil piece and put it like that and do it with a, and do the same with the third piece. Fold it in half and then put it on top. There we go, well, that is ready. Now it is ready. So now I'll open this like that, and I'll twist, push it down and twist, and I've opened it, next I put the mini black one in here, then I'll take a spoon of sugar, and I'll drop it into the black one, up, and I'm going in. So now I'll put the top on, twist it in, and now I'll shake it. Like ice. Actually, we should use white sugar for this, but I used brown sugar, so let's see what happens. So now I'll open this up. Drop it into the stove. And now we have to set it on fire. But you need parents' help for this since kids are not allowed for fire. Gosh, it's roasting up the sugar. That's 
Cool. Molten rock. It's trying into a snake, a sugar snake now. It's hot. Wait, it's getting its fuel from the sugar. And it's building up and up and up. And the virus game. Harder. Here's the finished product of the sugar snake. And it feels like very soft, like kind of like volcanic ash and cotton. It comes very easily. So what makes the sugar snake appear as thin air? Well, the heat decomposes the, uh, the sodium hydrogen carbonate, aka baking soda, and, and releases carbon dioxide gases. And also the heat turns the sugar into black carbon well and the carbon dioxide gas turns the black well warps the black carbon into the sugar snake that you see now we'll see you guys in my next interesting video until then this is me Dilshan, signing off